sometimes wonder what's on your mind. You won't talk about it. Show some sign or ask for help to get through this time in your life. You should. Praise the Lord. So glad you tuned in to a great God today. I have a wonderful guest here today. His name is Sir Charles Carey from Washington, D.C. He's an author. He's an entrepreneur. He's a music creator, lyricist, and he's done great things. You might want to get your Bible, a pen, paper, so you can write down some notes. It'll be, you know, like I say, we're always learning, always new things. Getting back to Sir Charles, he's an alternative recourse expert, and he speaks and he trains. I'm going to let him tell you a little bit about himself, from child up, childhood to up, what brought him up to this period of his life. So glad you came. Thank you so much <laughs> for having me on the show. Yes, <clears throat> it's just an honor. I was so glad you accepted to come because you have a lot that you can, you know, tell others that would help. You know, being a, 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 um, all these things that you have right. accomplished in life, mm -hmm. but then running into, which I didn't say, a health problem. Yes. And this health problem, a lot of people are just giving up. Right. But Sir Charles, praise God, with the help of God, is standing. And he's going to tell you a little bit about lymphoma. Well, you know, Barbara, when I first started out, you know, I was like a lot of other kids. You know, I wanted to fit in. Mm -hmm. I wanted to be cool. I wanted to be accepted. Uh -huh. And what happened is that eventually I began to go down the wrong path. Okay. And, and going down the wrong path, I looked up one day, and it was 25 years later, and I realized that I was a drug addict. Oh, okay. You see? Mm -hmm. But that came from that need of acceptance. Okay. You know, wanting to, you know, be accepted by the other people and everything that was going on around me. Mm -hmm. um, that eventually led to uh, an, an opportunity for me to free myself of that drugs, but that's 25 years. Yeah, that's 25 years. So I went yeah. through a whole lot in that time. A long I mean, time. I've tried almost every drug except for intravenous drugs. Wow. You know, I mean, from acid and angel dust mm. to everything you mm. can think of marijuana, mm. alcohol, the whole shebang. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> I was very grateful the day that my life changed because I looked into the eyes. Mm -hmm of my children. Okay. You see? Mm -hmm. And when I looked into the eyes of my children, mm -hmm. I always give them credit for this. Mm -hmm. I tell everyone when I do my keynotes and trainings and workshops, God convicted me. Come on. Through the eyes of my children. Look at God. I looked directly into their eyes mm -hmm. and I saw nothing but innocence. Mm -hmm. And I realized that I was raping them, robbing mm -hmm. them of their innocence my God. through my lifestyle. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. And that was the beginning of that 180 degree turnaround mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for my life. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know if I was going to stick it out. I wanted to, but um, the thing that you know hurt me or, or really bothered me and stayed in the back of my mind was my kids. Okay. You know okay. because I didn't see them through part of this healing mm -hmm. and metamorphosis. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. but there came a point when I was able to sort of hold my ground, mm -hmm. you know, I mm -hmm. abstained from drugs, mm -hmm. I learned about the disease, mm -hmm. I learned why I was doing many of the things that I was doing that mm -hmm. were unhealthy. Okay. When I got to that point, I had an opportunity of, of seeing them again, and that sort of opened up my heart, mm -hmm. and, and, and it blossomed. Mm -hmm. You know, so I did all the things you're supposed to do. You try to be a productive member of society, right. and, you know, all those things, and, and I did that, you know, mm -hmm. got a job, got a place, you know, had a little bit of money, mm -hmm. and... Um, what happened was I started my life all, all over. All over again. Yeah. Well, the drugs, while you were going through that period of your life, did you find any satisfaction? You know, in the beginning, you think it is, or you, 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 you may claim a little bit of fun mm -hmm. because we used to do things in groups. Okay. You know, all of our friends, we'd get together and we 
go to parties and we do these different things. We'd mm -hmm. hang out, we'd get high and all that sort of thing. But when it was all said and done, mm -hmm. definitely I would say the latter part of that 25 years, mm -hmm. I realized that there was no enjoyment. Okay. It really wasn't. It, really it was just a habit that was formed mm -hmm. and a habit I kept up for mm -hmm. negative appearances. Because okay. it, it didn't amount to anything. Mm -hmm. You know? So how did you actually break? What did it take to break that habit? Because a lot of people can't break habit just like that. Even okay. if they're looking at the eyes of their children, mm -hmm. they have compassion for them. Sure. That's, that's their blood. Yeah. But it's hard. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, my dad used to tell me, he said, son, if you can't look at yourself in the mirror, that's a problem. And I was about nine years old when he told me this. And I'm mm -hmm. thinking to myself, Sure, whatever. What, what does that mean? <laughs> I'm a kid. You know, uh, it didn't mean uh, anything. Yeah. But it was one Saturday morning, I remember I got up and mm -hmm. you know, I went to the bathroom mm -hmm. and you know, I washed my hands. And then this is in the midst of my addiction. I washed my hands and mm -hmm. I looked in the mirror and I, I stopped for a minute. Uh -huh. And I heard his voice. Mm -hmm. Son, if you can't look at yourself in the mirror, mm -hmm. there's a problem. Mm -hmm. And it sort of like stayed with me for a second. Mm -hmm. And I turned around and I looked at my children's mother and I said, you know what? Mm -hmm. I can't do this anymore. Mm -hmm. And that was the beginning of acknowledging okay. that there had to be a change in my life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It was challenging. It was challenging. Mm -hmm. But that was the beginning. And from that point forward, I did all the things that I needed to do mm -hmm. to actually make that, that change permanent. Okay. Yeah. So tell us about the lymphoma. How, how did you overcome? Well, you know... You never think it's going to be you. Mm. You know, it's always some, someone you read about in the paper or something you see in TV or something yeah. like that. It's always the other person. Yeah. And, you know, like I said, I had stopped using drugs. It had been for about five years or so. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and at that point, um, the doctor said, uh, we think you've got cancer. And mm. I'm like, huh? Okay. And I'm thinking, after all this time, mm -hmm. I changed my lifestyle around. Mm -hmm. I don't use drugs. I'm trying to be, you know. Yeah. Uh -huh. Good, positive. Good citizen. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't accept their diagnosis. Look so at that. I mm -hmm. wait. Mm -hmm. Three more years go by. Mm -hmm. Go back to Johns Hopkins. And um, they give me a laundry list of, uh, you know, uh, questions. Okay. None of the symptoms am I suffering. Okay. However, they say, listen, this is what it is. It had spread from my chest to my back to my hip to my bicep, all over my body. Oh, my God. And I decided to get my questions answered. See, I know that faith without works Come on. is dead. Come on. So I had the faith. That wasn't a uh -huh, question. Uh -huh. But I had to take action. Yeah, right. What work would I do? <laughs> what work would you do? Mm -hmm. And I wasn't as knowledgeable about being healed naturally from the food right. that God gave us. Honestly, I just, I just did not know. Okay. So I got this chemo. Six mm -hmm. months. Okay. Cancer was done. Cancer was gone. Gone. Look at so that. I thought. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come on. Eight years later, it came back. All right. And it came back more aggressively. Okay. Um, not only did it come back aggressively, it was also coupled with jaundice, mm. which means my eyes were all yellow. My yeah. kidneys and liver area were shutting down. Mm -hmm. uh, I had never been that close to death. And really, even to this day, I don't realize how serious that was from a physical standpoint mm -hmm. because I didn't feel overwhelmingly ill. Ill, okay. But when the doctors looked at me, they could not believe that I was walking around right, in right. that condition. Mm -hmm. So once again, I had to have this issue addressed. Mm -hmm. They fixed the uh, the jaundice first. They got mm -hmm. put a stent in me to clear the, the jaundice up. Right. Then they administered uh, two doses, two different types of chemo. Mm -hmm. And once again, you know, um, I've been freed from that ailment. Look at God. Yes, absolutely. Mm, only God can do that. Mm, God can. I made a vow to God that if he would allow me to be me, the mm. complete me, the me that I was always supposed to be, mm -hmm. that I would empower, give back, help other people. Mm -hmm. And I do that through the gifts that, once again, he has given and provided mm -hmm. within me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I'm going to go to the scripture now. Because sure. when I thought about your struggle mm -hmm. with this lymphoma and how God has delivered you twice. Yes. And it, it just took me to Psalm 30, mm -hmm. praise God, 30 and 1, where it says, I will extol thee, O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up 
and has not made my foes to rejoice over me. And when I thought about that scripture, right. the foe is the cancer. Mm. The foe is the enemy yes. that's against your body. But God is greater, and we thank God for that. Did you come up in church? Did mm -hmm. you come up? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. My entire family uh, mm -hmm. was reared in church. And even when I, um, you know, went south or went wayward, um, it was already still in me mm -hmm. how I really was supposed to live my life, though I was going against the grain. Right. But when I was able to get myself together mm -hmm. after being convicted, mm -hmm. I came right back to where I was supposed to be. Okay. Yeah, and, and, and that's a great thing because mm -hmm. as you're <clears> in <throat> church, you're learning now, you know, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Evidence of things yes. not seen. Yes. So you may not can see the cure. Right. But it's there. Absolutely. It's there. Why? Because we put our trust in Christ. That's right. That's right. And he came to heal and set free. That's right. And deliver the sick. You know, in my first book, it's called Poetic Expressions. Mm -hmm. And I wrote a piece. And, you know, sometimes you think that today's spoken word is the new poetry from the old days. Uh -huh, uh -huh. <clears throat> and sometimes the, the poets of today, they get excited and they're yelling and then mm -hmm. getting all excited. Mm -hmm. But I wrote a piece in my book called My Struggles. Okay. And it's funny because it's one of the shortest poems uh -huh. in the book. Okay. But I think it's one of the most powerful. And i like to share with your audience. Please. Please <clears throat> do. My struggles are great. My struggles are many. I'm just a man with sin all in me. I find it amazing no matter how hard I try, trying to be right, I struggle inside. Pluck the speck out my brother's eye while mine are open wide. That gives me reason for pause as I contemplate inside. Balancing life, sometimes I feel spurned, like playing a game. <laughs> I might lose my turn. Relationships, loyalty, Sometimes defeat me. It's something that I need, but alone can't complete me. Mm -hmm. I must try regardless through struggle and defeat. Mm -hmm. I heard success comes through failure. So I'll land on my feet, my struggles. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's, thank you. you know how many young people are going through that in my struggle? <laughs> yeah. 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 You know. It's a thing on the mind. The mind yeah. that you struggle you know, in the mind. I remember, it's, it's, you know, I, I tell people sometimes, again, when I speak, <clears throat> I am looking through the eyes of a child mm -hmm. because I remember some of my thoughts, mm -hmm. uncertainties, mm -hmm. and insecurities when I was a child. Okay. And to see where I came from mm -hmm. and where I am now, I really do feel for some of our youth today. Yeah, I really do, too. You know, they mm -hmm. think that we really don't understand or... Right that because our lifestyle is set the way it is, mm -hmm. we cannot relate. Right. We have been there. And done that. And yes. they don't see it. <clears throat> and it's not that we're coming down on them. We're coming down to them to, help to try them. to bring them. Right. Never look down on a man unless you're going to lift them up. Right. 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 So when I, mm -hmm. use, when I engage youth, doesn't matter what age, male or female, mm -hmm. it's to empower them right. if I can, uh -huh. if they are open, mm -hmm. if they allow me. Mm -hmm. But they always have this... this Oh, you always put me down. And, you know, you mm -hmm. try to avoid them from going through what you've been through because you know where it's going right. to end up. Yep. And not all the time everybody's going to make it That's right. at the end. That's right. You know, <clears throat> it, it, some might end up losing their lives. That's right. And some made it through and they got saved and delivered. Absolutely. But God can do anything but fail. Yes. And we thank God for it. Uh, you well, I, and, I'm grateful. and the things that you're teaching because you know it gives us hope mm. and there's hope before the grave yes and not <laughs> we don't need it after the that's grave right, that's and right. we thank god and i know that through it all you have shed tears you had to shed tears mm -hmm. knowing that they say what you got and you know when mm -hmm. they always say cancer everybody think it's a death sentence that's right and it's not always a death sentence i'm here to tell you it's not a death sentence it's just just because mm -hmm. they diagnose mm -hmm. uh, you with something doesn't mean that that is the end, the that that is the final say. That's right. Just yesterday, mm -hmm. I was told that with a checkup, mm -hmm. that they see something, mm -hmm. but they don't know what it is, so okay. they want me to come back, mm -hmm. do another test. Mm -hmm. No, I could go with that and mm -hmm. feel scared or right. pitiful or oh, mm -hmm. sorrowful. Mm -hmm. 
I'm more angry than anything because I'm tired of dealing with this beast. <laughs> However, Come on I do realize that in all things there is a purpose. Mm -hmm. And Come that on. purpose may be just to keep me on task. There you go. That purpose may be just for me to be an example. Mm -hmm. That purpose may be for me to not know, but to keep working through this to be that example for others. I don't know, and I don't care. I'm just going to do what I need to do in the right way mm -hmm. and continue, continue on mm -hmm. with my message. Like God gave the, uh, Paul a thorn in the flesh. Yes. He said, my grace is sufficient. Yes. You know, it, it, just to remind you yes. of who you are Absolutely. and who I am Absolutely. and what I'm doing in you mm -hmm. because we have avenues that we're going to go through. That's right. And it's going to take God to bring us through those avenues. Absolutely. Right. And, you know, and I know that, you know, Psalm 30 and 2 said, mm -hmm. oh, Lord, my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. And the more that we say that, mm. it, it, we, words come to life. Yes. We bring our healing to life. Life and death, power uh -huh. of the tongue. Yes, ma'am. In the power of the tongue. Yes, absolutely. Hallelujah. So what we put in us, yeah. is, it, it's got to come out of us. Absolutely. Praise God. So the more that we, um, and, and, and then I like where he said that, oh God, oh Lord, that has brought my soul up from the grave. Mm-hmm. That has kept me alive that I should not go down to the pit. Yeah. You know, Psalms, it just reminded yeah. me of you. Okay. It talked about you. I because he that. has, come on now. I received that. Through the struggle. Yes, indeed. He, 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 he made a new creature. Yes, he right. said, any man be in Christ, he's a new, new creature. New creature, yes. So when you came from the old life and uh -huh. came to Sir Charles, yes. the new life, That's right. praise God, he, he, just, he just showed you who he was. God Absolutely. Can't. You know, part of what I do is try to empower people by exposing to them the gifts that already reside within. And, you know, some people don't realize it. Some people aren't ready for it. Sometimes they're just so set or conditioned in their own ways. In their own way. However, that doesn't change my mission. Mm -hmm. My mission will not change because I know the things he's done for me. Right. You know, I know the the opportunities that he's given me. Mm -hmm. You know, being in films with people like Nicolas Cage, mm -hmm. John Voight, Look Ed Harris. That. Look at that. You know, recording films, mm -hmm. creating films my own, mm -hmm. editing films, mm -hmm. recording music, mm -hmm. writing lyrics. Mm -hmm. You know, I've done all these, all things, these things that were truly the training ground mm -hmm. to get me to where I am today. There you go. Yeah, and that, that is true. Yes. All these things that we go through, every step that we go through, everything that we learn on a mm -hmm. daily basis, it gets us to where we are today. Yes. It lets us, and, and you know what's so, so good about it? Mm -hmm. It wakes us up to who we are. Yeah. Because the Bible says they have eyes, cannot see, ears, cannot hear. That's right. So in, in other words, the eyes mm -hmm. are closed in the mind. The That's mind right. don't really That's right. know mm -hmm. what your gift is. That's right. And and people are gifted, but they don't act on their gift. That's right. They'll say, oh, I'm just too tired. Um, I'm not received, I'm not accepted, mm -hmm. and they'll give up. Right. But that's when you're supposed to get in the press. Like, yeah. boy, I press towards right. mom. That's you right. got to press. You got to right. press. Because <clears throat> what God is doing, he's putting you in an area where you can tell others mm -hmm. he is great. That's right. Greatly to be praised. That's right. He can mold you and make you like he did the potter. That's right. And every floor that you have, you don't have to worry about them floors or the mud. A vessel, yes, because yes, yes. God can reform you, mm -hmm. reform you. That's right. You know, yes, he did. You, you're stubborn. You're going through your own way, but if you just, just stop, give your time, give yourself time to think, mm -hmm. and feed off of the energy. That's right. That God is trying to put in you, because what you take in you mm -hmm. is going to overtake that natural nature. They say they say garbage in, garbage out. So <laughs> blessings in, blessings out. There you go. You know, and and I already know mm -hmm. for a fact. I believe it's Dr. Miles Moreau said there are millions of stories in the graveyard mm -hmm. because those people did not write those books. Mm -hmm. Those people did not tell those stories. Right. Those people did not create those patents. Mm -hmm. Those people did not create those copyrights. Mm -hmm. So there is a most valuable place in the grave, and mm -hmm. that's not where those values were supposed to be. Mm -hmm, they were mm -hmm. supposed to be amongst the living mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and shared and taught and told. True. However, 
most people will take their gifts mm -hmm. with them to the grave. Mm -hmm. And that's true. Yeah. But we thank God that you didn't take it. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> now, uh, um, because this poetic expression, we're yes. going to go into a little bit of that. Okay. This book that you wrote, mm -hmm. tell the audience about it because, I mean... Well, it's, poetic it's, expressions, it was designed... <clears throat> it was funny. When I first started writing it, it was about a lot of relationship pieces. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, hold up. There's more to you than relationships. Mm -hmm. There's more to you uh, than ooh baby baby, you yeah, know? Yeah. So I started thinking about the social conscious. Uh -huh. So I started writing pieces about social consciousness. Mm -hmm. And then I started thinking about the inspiration, you know, basically supporting what I do as a inspirational or motivational speaker. Mm -hmm. And I started writing pieces like get in touch, you know, okay. it's time to get in touch with me. Mm -hmm. I know who I'm supposed to be. Mm -hmm. You know, pieces like that. Mm -hmm. And, um, but it was my first book and uh, Dr. Willie Jolly, my, one of my mentors, okay. uh, he's like a big brother, a friend, mm -hmm. a coach. Mm -hmm. uh, he told me, he said, listen, if you want to be taken seriously, you should really uh, support yourself by producing and publishing a book. Okay. So that's what I did. That was my first effort mm -hmm. um, that has served me pretty well. Mm -hmm. And I'm still called uh, by many known poets, especially in the D.C. area, to participate mm -hmm. in different events wow. when there's poetry involved. That's beautiful. Yeah. Can you give me something from the book? Sure. I'll, I'll, in fact, get in touch. I'll give you get in touch because I think it supports the whole effort of mm -hmm. radiate the brain and change the game. Okay. It's time that I get in touch with me. Mm -hmm. I know who I'm supposed to be. Why should I wait? Why waste time? Mm -hmm. Life can be gone in the twinkling of an eye. Wow. When I was a kid, I wanted to be this and that. Mm -hmm. No time for procrastination. Mm -hmm. I don't need nothing to hold me back. Mm -hmm. But many times the road just ain't clear. Mm -hmm. I've got to pray to God. Remain sincere. Mm -hmm. He's the one that makes the rough edges smooth. Mm -hmm. Faith without works is like one dead dude. <laughs> Beyond the faith, I must put forth effort. It's not about shortcuts, mm -hmm. but a good work ethic. Mm -hmm. I've got to rise to the occasion and get the job done. Mm -hmm. Like God sacrificed Jesus. He was his only son. Mm -hmm. A father will plant the seed, mm -hmm. wanting his child to succeed, mm -hmm. feeling proud when he's a success. Mm -hmm. All the while knowing that it was worth it. Mm -hmm. All of the tests. Uh -huh. So it's time that I get in touch with me. Mm -hmm. Time to be a success, you see. Mm -hmm. Make God proud. Mm -hmm. Just like the Trinity. Mm -hmm. You know, just like in church, the Trinity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My father in heaven, because he gave me the gifts. Uh -huh. My father on earth mm -hmm. gave me the name I'd be recognized mm -hmm. with. Mm -hmm. And my stepfather, too, because of him, mm -hmm. I have determination. Mm -hmm. You see, it took all three mm -hmm. through degrees of separation. Mm -hmm. Get in touch. That is beautiful. Thank you. I know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's uh -huh. right. That's right. You know oh, it. man. But do you see the strength in that? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. It is. I mean... The faith and the uh -huh. strength, all that combined. Absolutely. You know, um, it's like you're saying, I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. Philippians 4.13, absolutely. Mm -hmm. You know, when I wrote that book, it, the most, one of the most amazing things about that period in my life is every idea, every thought came to me like it was on automatic, mm -hmm. like a faucet that was open mm -hmm. and the water continued to flow. Mm -hmm. Each poem... Mm -hmm. Each one, it just continuously came to me. Mm -hmm. You know, I couldn't stop writing. Uh -huh. The pen would not stop. Look at that. You know, and uh, and it produced that that uh, that book, Poetic yeah. Expressions. And then just like the same thing with, I'm still writing mm -hmm. songs. It, yes. It just comes. Yes. And I understand that. Mm -hmm. And you know that's God. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Because God can. Yes, he can. You know, and, and if we're open to him, and what you did was, you actually gave yourself over to the Lord. Mm, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. You really did. It was a brand and new day. Because you're helping others. Mm -hmm. He's taking care of you. Yes. And this is a blessing. I mean, to see it. A lot of people can't see the blessings of God. A lot of people don't experience the blessings of God. You know, and, you and know why? <laughs> Too much noise, too much chatter. Too much. They don't take they got time computers to Computers and technology yeah, and yeah. You know, movies and music videos mm -hmm. and you know all you can eat and all you can buy and when do you have time for meditation. quiet and meditation? Yeah. yeah. Because if you do, that. you would hear the answer to your cries. Amen. You would hear the answer to your pleas. Yeah. You would hear the instruction mm -hmm. on what you're supposed to do. And that's true. You know that's the that's world true. today 
-hmm. It's not directed around mm -hmm. meditation or quiet time. Mm -hmm. Busy, 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 right. busy, 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 right, busy. Right, right. So when you get the time, I bless the Lord on oh my soul, mm -hmm. for getting out all his benefits towards me. You, you, you don't think about that. That's right. You, oh, I gotta get this. I gotta get this. Gotta pick up the kids. Gotta. This. But that's not even good for your health. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You running here, running there, you're not eating, grabbing this, grabbing that, mm -hmm. not sitting at the table. Yes. Sit at the table with your family. Yes. Quality time. Quality time. Yes. Talk about your day. Talk about what you've done. Mm -hmm. you Absolutely. Know? That's what we should do. And even if you don't sit at the table, sit in front of the TV and eat. Mm -hmm. All of you together. Yeah, together. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's just, just that's still community. That's right. Yeah. That's 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 uh, that's a good form of you know, being on the same wavelength, mm -hmm. the same environment, the same feeling, same mm -hmm. energy, you know, fellowship, true right, fellowship. Right, And it's a good thing for families. It brings the father closer to the son, the mother closer to the daughter. Yes. Because there's some things, like we say, oh, oh, I hear mothers because they're um, single parents. Mm -hmm. I'm father and mother. No, you're not really father and right. mother, but you are mother. I mean, mother you can't provider. teach a son. <laughs> right. Yeah, mother right. provider. Right. can't teach a son right. what he needs to know when it comes to women. That's right. As, as far as what to look for. Sure. You know, when you, you, you're looking at yourself, right. you know, and, and, and who knows, you, you're a single mother, you done made a mistake yourself. So it takes the father sure. to, to actually deal with the son. And, and, and let your kids know, especially mm -hmm. your male, male children, know how much you love them. There's nothing wrong with telling your Saying son it. that you love him. Say Saying the words. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember reading an article that talked about, um, is, the article was titled, mm -hmm. Cry, Baby, Cry. And it was trying to talk about how men have been conditioned mm -hmm. to not show their feelings. Mm -hmm. You're a human being first. And I like to say to you, and I thank God for what you said. I like to say to you, Sir Charles has the knowledge from God because God can. And as he's done with Sir Charles, he can do the same thing for you. Hold on. Get in the press. If you're talented, find out what you're talented at and reach for the stars because you have something to contribute to this world and you have something to contribute to the young people that will help them to understand that they weren't a mistake. They're here by assignment from God. And may heaven smile upon you and be gracious unto you. For God loves a humble person. God bless you and may have a smile upon you. As I said, I thank you so much. I sometimes wonder what's on your mind. You won't talk about it. Show some sign Oh. Get through this time